Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I have two updates to uh, share with you guys. One is a consignment shop um, update as well as um, the flip through of the Daphne's Diary Christmas edition for 2019. So I'm so excited about both. So I'm going to start with the um, items from the fabric. And these items are bundles that I'll have in my shop. I currently have two available. Um, these items are from um, Jaya and she had these bundles. I shared with you guys a video before. They are sorry fabrics. Oh my gosh, gorgeous fabrics. I have two bundles and now I won't be able to open the bundles for you guys because she's wrapped them up so nicely. But what I'll do is I'll show you what was included some of the pieces included in one that I shared with you guys before so just to give you an idea these are the smaller pieces that came in the one that I showed the video for so I will link that video below in case you guys haven't seen it so those of you that are in Canada will be very happy about this because this is currently a shipping to Canada only so um, if you are interested in purchasing a bundle, like I said, I will only have two at this point in time of these beautiful saris um, and sari fabrics, variety of things that will be in them. Um, I will leave the, of course, shop link below. Um, so this one, I'm just going to show you the one bundle that's available, the two actually. So this is the first one available. And um, like I said, she's wrapped it up so nicely. Um, I've got this one available and then this one as well okay so two currently that's all i will have in my shop right now um questions comments please leave them below but if you don't see them listed after you have seen the video it means that they have sold um and if you would like a bundle uh please leave a comment in the description box below or message me and then i'm sure jaya might be able to you know put something together if she has um fabrics left so we're trying this out seeing what you guys think and I'm, i apologize for my us friends but because of shipping costs um it might not be a good idea for um to ship outside of canada right now unless you are interested in paying the shipping fees i could look into that for you also let me know um and you might be able to get um you know these gorgeous bundles as well so that is what is in my shop currently in addition to of course the um journals and oh my gosh i'm so excited you guys there's just so many journals in the shop right now i will have a few more updates um with more journals to come thank you to all the ladies that are sending me items to showcase for you and to sell for you um and i will be replying to all the messages i'm receiving about consigning in my shop i am still taking um journals for sure so um Again, you can message me in the description box below. So let me get started now with the Daphne's Diary Christmas Edition. I, um, I hadn't done a video for Daphne's Diary for a little while. Um, but um, yeah, I think I'm just, if I find them, I'll start making the videos again because I know a lot of you enjoy seeing them. And I'm just trying to see if I'm in frame because this is quite a large magazine. So I'm just going to flip through it. Now, one thing that I did find with this edition, I purchased this magazine for many reasons, but one is when they do borders around their pages because I love using, you know, all these extra bits in my work. This one doesn't seem to have that many and I thought it would be, you know, even more colorful because it is Christmas. But anyways, I'm just kind of making a note of that for myself. Um, there are, of course, you know, some things that are nice to use and you've got these christmas tags i think they've got two sets here um as usual there's like lots of little stories that go along with the artists that they're featuring i really do like this wrapping paper that they sent in um but maybe you know i would like for them to kind of maybe add more things like this um because i do use the magazine in my work i love this miniature artist um oh my gosh it's just like to see all the little bits and pieces that she cuts and makes it into like this beautiful piece as well and check out the tiny little notebooks and journals you guys how fabulous right love them so much so 
I know that um, in reading this article, they say that she paints a lot of the stuff in addition to, of course, you know, working with paper and fabrics, etc. So we've got your um, usual items here. Um, I do like that they included these um, washi stickers and then you've got like the month um, of the year kind of tabs and that's to go into their planner, but I never see the planner here. So I don't even look at that to make myself feel bad. So again, more articles to look at. I really enjoy this artist as well when she just all the beautiful detail and the dolls that she makes and the and the dresses. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I mean, so many talented people in this world, you guys, and so much inspiration out there, right? So then we've got, you know, just additional things you can do and you can kind of print out. I will have a um, paper sounds and music only version to this magazine clip as well, because I know a lot of you enjoy that. And I also will include, I believe, the fall edition in that one. I'm not sure if you guys want to see that one with me chatting because it kind of has passed, but there is a previous um, um, issue that I have not shared with you guys that I could if you wanted to, so let me know. Um, I like this little 2019-2020, um, like goodbye and hello. They just did a little kind of, um, you know, uh, I don't know, you can add pictures, do a little bit of writing in there. So I thought that was kind of a cute addition to this one. And, oh my gosh, right now my hands are cold. Um, I'm in my basement because that's where my little studio is right now. And it's slowly coming together, my friends. Very, very slow. Um, and um, I forgot to turn on my little fan to heat up the space. Um, I really like this page because I can just see myself cutting up most of it to use it in something else. And let me just see. Just some more things to look at. I'm definitely going to try some of these recipes this time because they look really good. And then this is like a, a cutout of um, a little house, I guess. And they've, they've kind of given you both sides to it. So I think that's kind of cute. You know, it's an addition to something creative. But I'm thinking for me, I would prefer things that are smaller you know, something that I could do, like maybe make my own card or I don't know. Here, I'm giving you ideas, Daphne's Diary. Um, those other little things I don't use as much, you know, the big large cutouts or the big fold um, posters and stuff. I, I don't really use those. I kind of cut those up as well. So. so there you've got this part. I really love this image. And here, see, you've got the edges. It would be nice to have most of the pages with something like that because, you know, then I can use a lot more of the magazine in my projects. Um, I'm definitely going to be making some journals out of these um, as well. And um, yeah, I just, I mean, I love adding these pages to my work. Definitely helpful. And these ones are like these... Um, name tags for your wine glasses but I think they make nice tags or you know just other things you can use in projects as well and then lastly we've got just the back ad advertisements and I really love this image as well so this would make a nice cover so with this so anyways I hope you guys enjoy the share don't forget to check out the shop below for um, additional consignment things um, let me know if you want to see a flip through of the previous um, edition which I think is the fall edition um, and if not um, check out the um, the flip through with just uh, paper sounds and music I will also have that for you guys to enjoy thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time